How the hell there, neighborinos? Time to get into another wonderful video. Just so you know, like half of this video is just going to be about Oculus. So, you know, there, there's, it's going to be broken up into different parts, but, you know, just so you know. And this first story is about some staffing reorganiz reorganization that they are doing to make some augmented reality glasses. Now, mind you, this is just the staffing portion of the project. And even though they may be staffing for it, there's no, there's no proof that they will actually follow through and see this to completion. We don't know that yet. What we do know is that they do in they do see augmented reality as the future more so than they do virtual reality. But in the end, when it comes right down to it, these are just job placements. So as a result, there's no telling when this project would hit completion, when it would hit shelves, or when it, or when they would even start the idea process, or the, not even sure what you would call that, but essentially they they wouldn't they aren't yet working on the collaborative process necessary to design the headset yet so it'll be at least a few years down the line before they're actually able to complete work on an augmented reality headset of any kind so yeah The next story is about something that Facebook is trying to implement throughout its tawdry list of projects. And by the looks of it, <laughs> um, I, I did the, the quick work of, of Googling their, their acquisitions and mergers. And that list is, is 79 pieces long. That may be short or long. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. I didn't take the time to look up Apple's or Hewlett Packard's or Google's or any other company. So this list can cover quite a bit. Uh, the businesses include such things like social networking, which I thought it already did, photo management, travel recommendations, mobile advertising, email prioritization, location-based services, photo sharing, face recognition, designs, speech translation, virtual reality, high altitude UAVs, video compression, e-commerce, Computer vision and augmented reality, rural communications, computer vision and augmented reality again, spatial audio, machine learning, video software, government issued ID verification, and of course the blockchain platform. Um, I, but anyway, <laughs> uh, one of the bigger things that they want to link into all of their projects, whether it's the Oculus line or Facebook or Snapchat or, or whatever that they want or currently own or run in some capacity, they are currently working on an AI messenger that's completely voice based rather than a rather than a keyboard input they would use a voice input which they likely got from one of the other mergers that 
that they got in their in the last 10 years or so. So this AI could end up getting applied to speed up application of any currently running service or future service which may mean that it will it will expedite the use of the oculus line or in fact any of their social media platforms which may very well speed up their use of your information so take Take great care in what information you share with, with Facebook from now on. Uh, I believe that should already be understood, but you never know. Next piece of news is something that Apple fanboys are just going to love. Okay, so there is a pen that has surfaced as far as Apple is concerned. That signifies that they are at least considering jumping into the virtual or augmented reality space. Just like all these other big players, HCC, Facebook, slash Oculus, and Sony PlayStation. So, going through their mergers, they have all, they made four purchases in the last few years that relate directly to the augmented reality kit. And this patent this patent was filed back in 2017, so it's kind of old, but it's it's a it's an original idea when you think about it. This one wouldn't use inside or outside in tracking, but rather it it would track everything through echolocation. Like that is this. That is strangely the that is the strangest way that I've seen so far of being able to track your surroundings and what you're carrying. But this would in fact be a good use of augmented reality and I judging by what the article states this isn't the first time that Apple has considered going in here. And the iPhone has, well, according to the article, the iPhone has been slowing in sales. So it doesn't really surprise me, I suppose, that they would try to get a little bit more money out of all of their recent purchases. So the next story is a shorty but a goody. It's all about a game called Robo Recall. It's been tested on the Quest. However, one thing we can look forward to is that while the graphics will suck, or maybe not suck in comparison, but they may not be as good, maybe like an 8 compared to a 10, gameplay, still amazing. You can rip apart robots, you can shoot them down, you can... Do whatever you want to them, and there is plenty of variety among the enemies. This game already exists on the Oculus Touch for free, and it has since 2017. So if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, you know where to go. The next piece of news is about a creative game that's going to be released by Google onto the Quest. And this game is going to be, like, like I said, on the Quest. But problem is, it's going to be slightly weaker than it is on most traditional PC VR setups. So there, there's not going to be all the fancy schmancy stuff that you might be used to on the, P, on the normal PC VR setup. However, you're still going to be able to get the bulk of the game. You'll still be able to create your 3D masterpiece in art. Make that masters in art worth something. You know. 
some, something more than the 40000 in student loan debt. And the final story of the night is all about an immersive VR 3D movie watching experience. It's called the Lucy. Uh, this whole thing is supposed to simulate a theater. It would end up working with your smartphone or, or your laptop. Uh, when it does launch, it should be launching at starting at, at $4.99 in three different styles. It's going to have the standard VR headset frame as the crown. There is going to be the band, which is just going to be something akin to a lighter version. So it's it would look a lot like a like the the visor from Star Trek or whatever. And then finally there is going to be a glass, which is going to be something akin to the, the visor but with like a, a guard on your forehead or something. But that whole system is intended to give you a more immersive video watching experience this this system is used not just for giving you that that cinema that theater experience when watching movies but also to better formulate that 3d experience that you may not be able to watch anymore once that movie leaves the theater so assuming Avengers Endgame comes out in 3D which it probably will once it comes out in DVD or Blu-ray or whatever you will still be able to use this system to be able to watch your copy of Endgame in 3D that's essentially what what it comes down to so this whole thing or this system that is led by a company called Lucy is funded on Indiegogo. The initial the in initial crowdfunding goal was twenty five thousand dollars, but at the time of writing the article, they had reached three hundred thousand. Now those those that have contributed to this crowdfunding can receive a limited edition version but as far as redeeming that i don't know how to do it so if if you guys are willing to take the risk i'm all for it but links to all those are going to be in the description so if you guys like this video let me know if you hated it let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.